Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, and press that bell button so you never miss another video upload. Today we're in Astro Renaissance, and this is quickly becoming another of my favorite games. One, because look how gorgeous all of this is, and shiny, like, what? Even the boots have glitter on them, the cat's adorable, and just generally, all the aesthetics are beautiful. Today, I'm gonna show you how to complete another quest that is in Astro Astro Renaissance and it is the Lunar New Year quest and you want to hurry and get on this because I don't know how much longer it's going to be out so I'm going to quickly show you how to do this. So in order to get started once you spawn into the Citadel of Cosmos you want to run straight back down this road and collect all these moonstones on your way because you're going to want to use these to save up for all the beautiful sets which I'll show you at the end of this video. Now you want to talk to this man here named Mutal. Now I've already done it on this account so I'm gonna switch over to my alternate account to show you how to do it. Okay so I'm here on my Lacey Mean account. She's still wearing her beautiful lab coat with her cat. She's slowly getting all the things to <laughs> <laughs> but she's not quite as pretty as my main character because that's where I spent all my time. But let's do this quest with Lacey so that she can get the stuff too. So he says, hey, hey you there, can you please help me find my hung bowels? I lost them all, please help me. And uh, yeah, sure kid, do you know where they were? He said, thank you so much. Okay, okay, um, um, uh, shoot, I don't remember. I don't know, just they're red. <laughs> so I can read that fast enough, but this is what they look like. And there are 10 of them. Now, I'm gonna do my best to remember where these all are, so I might be looking for some of them with you guys, but here we go. Now, I know for certain that there is one over here to the left, because I found this one twice, I think. So it is here, and when you find them, this is what they're gonna look like. It says, Hung Bao Collect, and you press E on it, and you've got it. So now we have one. Oh, Lion Dances can, and it tells you a little fact about Lunar New Year, which I couldn't read fast enough, so read for yourself while you're playing. Now, I usually run around this part and collect the rest of these Moonstones, also because I can never remember if there's more in this area, so I collect these as I go. Now, the next thing I do from here, since we have to find 10 of them, I tend to make a bit of a circle. So I start out by going this way to the right, and this is just generally how I do all of these quests. I always look up here, because there's usually something up here, but not this time, apparently. Also gonna look in between these buildings. All right, so let's, oh, there's one here. Okay, so here's one here. We wanna collect that. Now, I also tend to check in the shop. Sometimes these quests quest items are in the shops. I don't think that there is on this one, but it never hurts to have a look. Oh, hello. Uh, don't see. I feel like there is one over here somewhere. Where are you? I remember. Here it is. Okay, so it's here. So there's number three. And then we want to keep looking this way. Nothing that way. And I always look up here in the like subway area because there's usually quest items up here as well. I don't know if there is this time. Let's have a look. Like I said, I'm finding these with you guys. Not up here, no! Okay, well, that's fine. And also, can we just say, how beautiful is that subway train? That's so pretty. So now I just keep going on my circle. I check behind here. I can never remember. I feel like there was one back here. There's not. Oh, there's one here at the entrance. Perfect, got that one. And then let's have a look up here. And sometimes you gotta kinda go kinda slow or you'll miss them. Sometimes they're hidden right in plain sight, like this one. It's just on a pillow. There we go. Now we have five. I always feel like there's one in here. There has been for several of the other quests, but I can't remember if this one is in here. I don't think it is. Make sure I look really good. There, there is one right here. There we go. So now we just have to find uh, the last four. So I'm gonna go back this way and go down the middle. Let's look in the shop too. In the shop. Anything in the shop? No, not in the shop. Okay, so there's none in the shop, but let's go down the middle because there's usually some hidden around in the middle somewhere. Okay, there's one here in like the food court area on a table. So now we have three left. Down to the start and work our way back up. Okay, I always look behind here. There's one. So now we have two left. Okay, I just remembered I think I know where one of these is and it's kind of hidden and it is in the subway. I think it is. It's up there. So we need to jump up there. I completely forgot about 
this one. And the only way you get up there, you need some hills, I think. But I don't have any hills on this character. Oh no, how am I gonna get up there? I might have to get some hills to get up there. At least you'll finally have some shoes. So let's put on these shoes. There we go. So now she's a little bit taller. Now that you got your heels on, you want to keep jumping until you kind of get up on the sign. It is a little tricky to do. Okay, I did it. Now don't fall off. That one is here. Now there's one left to find and I'm trying to remember exactly where that one is. I have gone through everywhere. Oh wait, I see it. It's down here by the tree. I completely missed it earlier. So it's here by the tree and we're going to collect that one. There we go. So now we have have all of the hung bows. Hopefully that helped you. I'm sorry I was all over the place, but you gotta look around for these. Now let's go back and talk to Yutao and see what we get for this quest. You finally got them. Phew, what a relief. I really appreciate it. Happy Lunar New Year to you. Do you get a reward? Completed the Lunar New Year quest. Now I don't know if you get any items and accessories. Oh, you so you get a hung bow sack. That's just like a little bag that you can carry, which is kind of cute actually but this is how you complete the quest. Now, before we finish up, I'm gonna go back to my main account and we're gonna look at some of the new items. So the new items are gorgeous. I love them and I'm gonna have to get some of these. So this stuff is in the Everlasting Flowers. This is all on sale now for the next 88 days and seven hours. It'll be less by the time you see this, but look how beautiful. There is Aphrodite's Garden Celestial Dress, Butterfly Heels, Coast of Azura boots, like this flower. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So I'm gonna quickly go on a little shopping tour of all the stuff that I want to get. I definitely want this dress. So yes, I definitely want these heels. Those are gorgeous. I want this flower piece. Yes. What else? I might come back to the boots. I want the earrings. The art. Oh, it's a halo that you can buy. Divine Archangel Seraphic Halo. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm down to 31,000. Be careful. Oh, look at these earrings. Those are gorgeous. Let's get these earrings. Whoa, nature's cadence antlers. There's some beautiful wings. I definitely want those. There's a purse. So this one is petite Bonnie bunny bag. So this looks like this goes to a different set. Oh, there's another whole outfit here. <gasps> I'm gonna have to go play some more arcade games and get the rest of this because that is gorgeous. I will get, uh, let's get the antlers. I think we have everything else. We'll get all of the bunny stuff later, but let's make an outfit out of the stuff that we have now. So we are here up at the top. Now let's make this gorgeous new outfit from the flowering set. Okay, let's take off our Swifty outfit. So let's look at heels first. So the new heels that we got are these. Those are pretty. I also have like this bag on. Let's take this bag off. Let's also take off this halo because we got another halo, which is this one. Ooh, she is is gorgeous. I'm going to leave these the color that they are because I want to see how it looks together before I start putting my own twist on it. We'll add in the flowers, which go on the side of the head. There are two sets of earrings. So we have that set and then there's also this set. Now, I don't know which one. I'm kind of living for the butterfly one. So let's put those on. And then we have the wings. We have antlers. And then where is this dress? Okay, so it's under top tops and not skirts and it's Aphrodite's garden celestial dress. Whoa! What? That is gorgeous. That is so crazy. I don't know if, was there anything else that went with this? I don't think so. Any accessories? I already put all the accessories on, put the heels on. Okay, let's have a proper look at this now. Look at this dress, you guys. This is gorgeous. It's got lace on it. We have the heels on. She's kind of floating, but she looks amazing. Look at the wings. That's crazy. And there's flowers going across the top and the flowers with the halo. And whoa. Okay. This is an absolutely gorgeous set. And I feel like they have outdone themselves on this one. It is so, so pretty. I definitely recommend this set for sure. I think I will come back in a later video and we'll get all of the little bunny piece sets because those are also really, really gorgeous. Okay. Now I kind kind of want to theme this and color it. So let's colorize everything in the colors that I like. I think we're going to go like I normally do teal, but I think I'm going to do like a lighter blue this time. So the lace, let's have like a dark. Oh, no, no, no. That's too dark. Hello. <laughs> 
<laughs> let's leave that lace white. Okay, and then this, let's do this. And the green, we'll make like a lighter green, maybe? Like this. And the flowers, let's do some pink. I can't really see the lace anymore. I don't know. Oh, it's because I need to go to fabric. So let's go to fabric. Let's find our lace. We can actually change up the lace. We can make different lace effects. We can have butterflies. We can have this. That's really gorgeous. Heart. There are so many options. I don't even know what to pick. Whoa. Okay, that's pretty. What else? What else? Wow. Okay, I kind of want to keep this because it's so pretty. I think we're going to keep that. Yep. Okay, now let's go to our headband here. It's actually kind of living really nicely how it already is. I've actually decided to go back with the blue because I love the blue and the rest of it goes so, so well with it. I think I'm going to leave this how it is. It is so, so pretty. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you love this new set? Is this one of the sets you would wear? I definitely am going to be wearing these wings even on my older sets because it is a gorgeous. Let me know what you think below and I'll see you next time. Bye!